Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be discussing three fun ways to get the kids involved with saving. Um, saving money is sometimes difficult for some people to do because we're just not budgeting, we're not finding money within the paycheck to be able to do this. But these are three fun, easy ways. So anyone can do it, you just have to try. If you want to know what those three things are, please stay tuned for the rest of the video. One, saving all your coins. As you can see here, this is a bag full of pennies that I haven't had a chance to roll yet. Some nickels, some dimes, uh, some gold dollars, and some other coins I need to separate. I probably had this on me one day. Some gold dollars. This is what I use for my loose change if I haven't separated it yet. This belongs to my son, but he don't use it. So I've been using it. Um, it's just as old as he is. Uh, got this at a baby shower as a gift. And on the weekend, if me and my kids don't have anything to do, anything planned, we'll sit and roll these little deals. Rolled coins are always fun to do. And on to my kids' personal favorite is saving their dollar bills. So how this works is if they get an allowance of, say, 10 bucks, and then they go to the store or do whatever they want with their money and they get changed back and within that change there's some dollars then they should put that to the side instead of spending it so um no spending the the dollar bills but they can spend the rest they can spend their coins if they choose they can spend the five dollar bills or whatever but just don't spend the dollars that they receive and anything that they have at the end of the month then me and my husband will match it so it's a fun fun way to have the kids involved um, with my older children now on to my personal favorite the five dollar challenge so the five dollar challenge is basically anytime you get changed and it's a five dollar bill involved you don't spend it you put those fives to the side And at the end of the year, we're going to see what we have. So this is very exciting. It's something that is hands-on. You know, I like to feel the money, touch the money. Your bank accounts are great. I like to see my numbers add up in that area as well. But if you could do it like this, then it's, it's just a little bit more active, you know. So I like this a lot. Every time we get 100, so I'm going to cut off the first 100 with you guys. I just sell it off into a little regular envelope here. I'm gonna mark the, the date and how much money is in it, and then I'm gonna put that to the side. And that leaves me with 20 for my next envelope. And once this one reach 100, then I'm gonna do the same thing. And at the end of the year, see what we have now we haven't made any decisions on what we're gonna do with the money but I'm quite sure it's gonna be something nice and something fun to where we do not have to touch our actual savings account which is our investments and or your personal savings at your credit union it's just things like this that you can do at home instead of just spending everything that you make and then this way you'll have money at the end of your paycheck so thank you for watching. These are three fun ways, again, to have your family involved in saving money, including the kids. The kids need to learn the value of money. So if you like those three things, please drop down in the comments and let me know what you think. And also let me know what you are doing with your family. I would love to hear. Thank you for watching. James Edda Speaks. I'm out.